So far, most of the charges of foul misconduct dominating the news cycle have involved Democrats. One of the few involving a Republican came to a tragic end on Wednesday when Kentucky State Rep. Dan Johnson took his own life. Johnson had been accused of kissing and fondling a then 17-year-old girl while serving as a church pastor in 2012. The pressure and personal attacks that ensued, not to mention Johnson's own PTSD, turned out to be too much, and WDRB reports that Johnson shot himself on the bridge in Mount Washington, Kentucky. Johnson, who leaves behind a wife, five children and nine grandchildren, left the following. Breaking suicide note, the accusations from NPR are false God and only God knows the truth, nothing is the way they make it out to be. America will not survive. This type of judge and jury fake news. Conservatives take a stand. I love God and I love my wife, who is the best wife in the world. My love forever. My mom and dad, my family and all five of my kids. And nine grandchildren, two and tummies and many more to come each of you or a total gift from God Stay Strong, Rebecca Needs You, the 11th of September 2001 NYC, WTC, PTSD 24-7. 16 years is a sickness that will take my life, I cannot handle it any longer. IT has won this life, but heaven is my home. Please listen closely. Only three things I ask of you to do, if you love me is one, blame no person. Satan is the accuser, so blame the devil himself to forgive and love everyone especially yourself. 3. Most importantly love God. P.S. I love my friends you are family. God loves all people no matter what. Kentucky Gov. Matt Bevin tweeted his condolences. Saddened to hear of tonight's death of KY Representative Dan Johnson, my heart breaks for his wife and children. These are heavy days in Frankfurt and in America. May God shed his grace on us all. We sure need it. Matt Bevin at Matt Bevin, December 14, 2017. Amen. Gov. Bevin. You got that right.